doing? Thank you for licking my arm off. I love you. <laughs> hey everyone, coming to you from the messiest of messy buns. It's been a minute. I don't know how to start this for me. I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea how to start this. But it's been a minute. I hope you're doing well and enjoying the spring. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Today, we're doing a late spring, early summer vlog. This is not the spring summer vlog that I had planned. I'm gonna tell you that much. It's been uh, humbling. I'll, I'll put that out there. It's been a very humbling spring. Uh, I made a post on here on YouTube, on Instagram, and on the Halloween, no, not on the Halloween Forever group, but just my Facebook page. I made a post uh, letting you guys know that our dog Bailey passed away. And if you're new here, Bailey uh, was, I hate saying past tense, that's the hard, that's the hard part. If you know, I feel like you know. Um, Bailey was our 17 year old, we think half miniature pincher, half chihuahua mix and um he passed away sadly okay so this is kind of a weird intro because i had a whole other intro filmed and then i realized that i didn't put a little disclaimer in there to let you guys know this is probably going to be the most depressing video ever uh, but what we're going to kind of do in this vlog or what my whole plan was was to get ready and kind of talk to you guys about uh what's going on and what's been going on and fill you in and then we're gonna go meet my mom at the flower nursery or plant nursery or whatever. And we're gonna go pick up some flowers. And if you hung out here last year during our, our uh, spring vlog last year, we planted some flowers. Like we went shopping with my mom for flowers and planted some flowers uh, in memory of my grandma. And it really helped. And all throughout the summer, I could look at the flowers and I just felt, it felt like a really good way to honor my grandma and all that kind of stuff. So it, it, it did help in the healing process. I was wanting to do the same thing for Bailey this year because anything at this point, anything that will help, I'm, I'm, I'm going for that because <laughs> it's not been easy at all, but we'll get there. And then after that, we're going to pick up Bailey um, because Bailey was ready to come home in his new little box. Um, and we're gonna set up a little area for him, like a little table for him. I need to get a picture printed off because I wanna put a little picture of him there. So we'll eventually do that, but not in this video. And so we're gonna get Bailey, bring him home, get everything all set up. And then we're gonna plant our flowers that we got in memory of Bailey. So you can see what flowers they picked out and we're gonna plant them together. And Neen's of course is gonna help out, right girl? I will put a little warning out there that I do understand this is a difficult topic, especially if you've recently lost a loved one. So I understand if you can't watch this video, I totally understand and my heart goes out to you and I'm sending all the positive vibes and healing vibes your way. But I want this vlog to be kind of a positive thing, a way to heal and a way for us to honor Bailey. I really wanted to put this out there before any other videos that I have coming out give him the proper send off he deserves. Um, so I'm just gonna start right now from basically what I looked like exactly like this, just fresh out of bed pretty much, and we're gonna get ready. All right, hopefully this is Means, you went over here? Okay, well I gotta get a different blanket because you like to tinkle. All right, hold on. Is that good? Um, her allergies are really bad. So if you hear her coughing, she already has a cough thing. If you've been around here, then you know she has a cough thing, but um, it's just, it gets worse this time of year. I figured I'd bring my makeup down here and we could get ready together uh, with a little Halloween background situation. If you can even see the Halloween background, maybe I need to move over a little bit so you can see the Halloweenage happen. I'm sorry, sis. Um, and then I can move this. It's still gonna be the same. Uh, anyway, so I figured we'd get ready down here, but um, I also wanted to talk a little bit about what kind of happened um, with Bailey and everything like that uh, because I know, you know, we're family here. I know maybe some of you out there are curious or just want to know like in general what happened. That doesn't offend me. I don't think it's weird or morbid or <laughs> even if it is. Anyways, what kind of, oh shoot, I forgot my mirror. That would be helpful. All right, hold on. Means you're gonna have to go over here for just a second. I'm so sorry. Okay, oh great. This is, I need something to boost this up. All right, so anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, what happened? Oh God. Um, okay, that's still not any better. We'll, we'll make it work. We'll just slouch down like a goblin a little bit. Essentially what happened is because 
Okay. It was really confusing. What is all this crusty ass? Oh my God. So I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Hills old as balls eyebrow thing, eyebrow, whatever. I like this shade. This is the, I can't remember what shade this is cause it's all gone, but it's the darkest one. And they have this kind of grayish, really ashy tone. And I love that shade for my brows. It's like the perfect one. So I don't know how this is gonna go because, um, I mean, today feels like a good day, but, but it seems like just random. You know, it'll just hit me out of the blue when you don't know when it's gonna happen. So I'm making no promises in this video that I'm gonna hold it together, but we're gonna do our best. It was kind of random, not random because Bailey's had a lot of health problems. Uh, if you've been hanging out here while well, we did, what was it, Vlogoween and Vlogmas, Bailey had some issues with sinus infection and tooth issue. And before that, probably like a couple years ago, he started having issues with his kidneys and his thyroid. But those were manageable. Like they didn't seem to be affecting him too much. Um, like the medications were working for him and it wasn't something he had for a long period of time. So anyways, it was mainly the sinus infection thing that was happening with his tooth and we couldn't get in there and get the tooth out because he was too old to put under and all that kind of stuff. So we had him on antibiotics and he was doing really well. It seemed like winter was over and winter is really hard. For those of you who have uh, senior dogs or cats or pets or even senior people or even just people in general, uh, winter is really hard on everybody. Um, except I, I freaking love winter because I don't have to worry about sunshine and heat and all the things and bugs, and wasps, you know me. Anyways, I love winter, but for my dogs who are getting older and especially small dogs who can't really go out, like if it snows in your area, um, it's, it's really hard on them. So we had a long winter, spring arrives. I was all excited because Bailey seemed to be doing much better. His teeth didn't seem to be bothering him. He was eating and drinking and everything fine. It really just happened randomly and overnight it seemed like. like it was not a long process which makes me happy for him because he didn't suffer it was the end of april right like very tail end and i noticed he started having some issues kind of randomly in the middle of the night was having some issues finding his way back to his bed he'd get up in the middle of the night and then he would kind of he was like sounding like he was collapsing or something like he would just lay down really hard but he seemed to be happy like eating and drinking and doing fine otherwise and being mischievous like he was and i was putting him back in his bed a lot in the middle of the night and then he just stopped eating is essentially what happened um he was still drinking water, so I thought maybe he was having issues again with his tooth, and even though he was on antibiotics, I thought maybe we needed to switch him or something, but he didn't have any like nasal stuff happening or like any of the other symptoms he had had when he had uh, sinus infections. Hard, uh, oh, by the way, I'm using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh uh, Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I love this stuff. Anyways. So I put the dark one on first so, so I don't look like I'm a corpse, although I'm not that mad at that. And then I'm going to use, oh, this one is the uh, 40, no, I can't be right. 40N and this one is the 7C. This one, same concealer, but just lighter. Anyways, so try blending up his food because that used to work. Because what would happen is his nose would get really sensitive when he'd get a sinus infection. And so he didn't want to put his nose into food or in a bowl. He'd get freaked out even with water and stuff. So I'd use a syringe, blend up his food and feed him through a syringe and he'd be ravenous. Like he would lap it up and try to bite the syringe and all that kind of stuff. So I, we were doing that back, I think it was Vlogoween or maybe it was Vlogmas, whatever time that was, I don't even remember. Anyway, so I blended up some food cause I thought that might be it. And, and by the way, we had gotten our dog's teeth cleaned up until they couldn't do it anymore, basically when they got a little too old to be put under where it was high risk. And then they just are small dogs. Some small dogs just have really bad teeth. Oh great, I don't have any powder for underneath my eye, but we're just gonna use whatever's left over on this brush. <laughs> I also didn't bring down the palette. Great, so I'm using this guy here. This is the Rouge and Rogue Familiar Spirit palette. I'm going into this talon shade here it's kind of like a uh i don't know what that is kind of like a cool tone 
something. It's gonna look warm on me because everything looks warm on, on my cool tone dead skin. Um, but it's pretty. I'm using whatever brush this is. It doesn't even have a name on it, it's that old. I think this is one of the Sigma E25. Oh, nostalgia. Okay, anyways, I'm just gonna put it in the crease and blend it to death and hope for the best. Okay, so where were we in this depressing ass longest story ever? Um, okay, we were talking about Bailey. Oh, okay, so I tried blending up Bailey's food to feed him through a syringe and see if that would, maybe he was interested in eating that. Um, this time he just let it sit in his mouth and then it would just like come out of his mouth. Like he just would let it sit in there. Brought some McDonald's fries home and he wouldn't even eat that. Like, and those are his favorite. He used to straight up MacGyver his way to some McDonald's fries. Like, like he would go through a full on obstacle course. Maybe it's more like American Gladiator his way to some McDonald's fries. He would do anything for him. We're gonna do, uh, what is this? Sephora retractable eyeliner. This is the waterproof one that I use in my to tight line to make it look like I actually have eyelashes. And then I'm gonna do the possessed method per usual. I don't know how to do this normally like a normal freaking person what's that my eyelash all right anyway oh no <gasps> okay i'm gonna use this other sephora eyeliner this is the colorful wink it felt liner this is waterproof it's just their black eyeliner and i'm just gonna use it to barely like stamp it on my lash lines i feel like this is like my cheat like I get to, or hack, or whatever people call it, where I can kind of get in there and create a little, to where I can put my lashes on and not have to worry about, you know, if they're showing or whatever. Okay, anyway, uh, I can't talk during this heart. This eye is always harder because this one is like more of a wrinkly ball sack looking eyelid. I'm doing pretty good at telling this story, I feel like. And I think I'm I'm doing well because, I, you know, making it the longest story longer. And I feel like that's helping me distract from the pain of it all. You know what I mean? Not that I'm avoiding it because we've been feeling it for sure, I think. Oh, by the way, this is probably too late to say. If you find stories like this really depressing or sad, you can move forward to where we go shop for flowers. And then I don't think it's gonna be too depressed. Well, probably, I don't know. Maybe just skip over this one if you're not ready. If you've lost a, an animal recently or somebody in your life. Um, but I feel like also we can come together and support each other. So I don't know. So I guess it just depends on what you're ready for. This is probably way too late to say that. <laughs> Here we are. I'm not really feeling super organized in my brain ever, but especially not right now. I'm not feeling very with it. I'm really sorry if you're now having a really hard time because I didn't warn you. I'll put something in the intro. Okay, Um, I hope you're okay though if you're out there and you're going through something. I think we're all going through something, but if you've lost someone or something close to you, then um, my heart goes out to you because it's the physical pain. I'll get there in a second. We'll get into the depressing stuff. Basically, what had happened is he just stopped eating is, is when it really became obvious when he was not getting up anymore and he stopped eating and wouldn't take any syringe of food or any food at all, wouldn't even lap up anything. It kind of just happened to where uh, I called first thing Monday morning and we brought him in right away and that was kind of that. So it kind of happened really quickly and then that's what happened. Um, by the way, I'm gonna put on some bronzer and blush from this palette from Anastasia. This is called Italian Summer. That's just, I don't know if that's a face palette. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. I've had it for a minute, but when I dyed my hair orange, this is the warm tone bronzer I started using because my cool tone bronzer looked super weird <laughs> with my orange hair and I just kept using it. And I don't have my brush I usually use, so we're just gonna use whatever this is. Great, perfect. Okay, anyway, let me try to go easy with it. Anyways, um, I don't know why I'm not crying right now. This is just how it, seems to happen with me. I just, one minute, like it's it's weird. Like the times that I feel like I should be crying, like talking about it or looking at photos of them or videos, the times I feel like I should be crying, I don't cry. And then it's just like the random things, like the, like, like you know, waking up in the morning and not seeing him in his little bed. Although it's really just the worst at night because we had this whole routine that we did 
where I would give him his medication, change his diapy for bed, and I give him his water, which I had this little thing. Actually, I filmed an Amazon haul probably like the day before he stopped eating is when I filmed this video. It's an Amazon haul, and I mentioned this little uh, water bowl that I got him, and I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna edit it and put it out. It's just been too hard. I didn't want to edit it while I was, I mean, I know I'm gonna be healing forever, but just when it was so fresh, I just was afraid to edit it talking about Bailey like that. But if you see it and I'm talking about Bailey, it's because he was still with us at this time. Oh, now I'm getting like hot eyes, you know, like the hot eyes where they start tearing up that where they're on fire. Um, anyway, I'm going to go into this blush so we can distract ourselves. So, um, I haven't wanted to edit that yet. And also I didn't want that to be my first video back where I'm like, here's an Amazon haul. And then I don't say anything at all because I didn't know it was going to happen yet. Yeah. Well, I just didn't feel right putting that out first, but also I just couldn't edit it knowing we were, I was talking about him and he was taking the sweetest little nap that day in the other room, like in his little orthopedic bed, he was taking the sweetest little nap. And then when I got done filming, he was ready for his lunch and he like woke up and was all like, it's just like we were, we had this really good routine going and Anyway, it was just, the whole thing's been really freaking hard because it happens so quickly. But once it happened, like you realize how the progression has been going on. Like, you know, he first started kind of getting, um, like he couldn't take the stairs and more medication. Like all these little things that started adding up and you don't really realize it because you're just in it. And with two senior dogs, require medication and different foods and different, like it was like a whole, uh, it was a whole routine I didn't even know that we were doing. Anyways, I'm going back into that talon shade. I'm gonna put it underneath this situation um, because I don't know what to do without any sort of darkness under my eye. So once he was not mobile, I think he was just like, um, yeah, I just don't wanna know this life. Like I need to be free, you know? So it was very peaceful and I mean, as peaceful as it can be, it's no matter what the situation is, I find it extremely traumatic and upsetting and the worst thing that we can go through as humans is to watch that happen to our pets or have them pass away. I think it's like one of the most unfair things in life and one of the worst things you can go through. So it was really hard for both of us. We just kind of laid in bed and just pretty much cried is how it went for a full week and it was just devastating. And all right, so my camera overheated, so we're on my phone. So hopefully the microphone isn't too weird or different. So we're just gonna put on our lashes so we stop crying so much. I'm just trying to make it to the freaking plant nursery, y'all. But I don't know, I, I don't wanna be too depressing because I don't wanna bring anybody down today, especially I know everyone has their own things they're going through, so I really don't wanna do that. I really wanted to get on here and at least talk about what happened, all that kind of stuff and how we were doing and all that. Anyways, I'm putting these lashes on. These are the House of Lashes Siren. No. Well, I don't know what it is. I'll put it in the description box, though. It's something like that. Hopefully, these go on decently today. I feel like I'm coming around, but I did not think it was going to happen. And I'll tell you what helped the most. I'm not going to lie. This is what I was getting into. Dallas has been, like, I have no way I would be able to do this without him. There's no freaking way. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing. You can just see my wrinkly neck, but it's all right. I don't know why we're getting all glam for the freaking plant nursery, but here we are. <laughs> Lord. Anyway, so um, Dallas being the most amazing husband and partner I could ever freaking ask for has been basically, he was like, I think it was after like the third or fourth day, he was basically like, all right, let's get up and let's work out together. Let's maybe go down and we'll take means and work out together. And um, like she sits in her little bed while we work out. <laughs> we're just gonna go down there as a family. We're gonna lean on each other and we're gonna rely on freaking endorphins is what we're gonna do is just try to get to some sort of routine, something that will also help us, you know, in the process, kind of get us out of bed, get us moving. And oh my God, it really helped. It means to go get a pup cup at Starbucks. And so it kind of just became a little bit of something new that we started introducing every day. And 
you know, tending to needs has really helped because she has her own needs. She's relying on us to, she's got medications and food and stuff too. Really just making sure we're there for her. So if we're like, okay, we're absolutely destroyed as human beings right now, but we gotta show up for needs. That also really helped with showing up for her. But I'll tell you what, she, I was not expecting it because she's very, Bailey pretty much pissed her off a lot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It was like this love, like she loved him so much but also she's territorial. So when he tried to get in her bed or take her treats or food or whatever, she would just snap at him and not be happy with him. So she had her boundaries with him and Bailey knew no boundaries. <laughs> I don't even think she lifted her head off of her pillow or her bed for days. Um, it, she was just clearly very, she just sleep and lay there. She did eat, which was good. She's eating great. So that's a plus, but she was really not, like I could tell she wasn't herself. Uh, this is, I'm putting on lipstick because might as well. We got lashes on. We're doing the whole thing today. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Grim. I'm already running so freaking late right now. Lord. Okay. Anyway, I don't know what else I'm talking about. My lips are so freaking dry. Uh, so now that we've talked about all the hard things, we're doing okay. It's the schedule that's really throwing me off. And I don't know how today's gonna go when we go pick them up. I'm thinking it's good. Like I'm feeling good today. Got a couple, got hot eyes a couple of times and watery eyes, but I made it through. Um, Cause at the end of the day, I know Bailey would want us, I mean, to, to be happy and carry on and all that, but it's just hard. It's hard to do it. And whatever, we're not gonna be perfectionists here. Running so late at this point, but I do wanna say, I wanted to say this actually right before all of this, before we started getting ready, but I jumped right into the depressing stuff because you know, I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to tell you guys what happened in case you're wondering, but also, I really wanted to thank you guys for the comments, condolences, any stories that you told or any ways that Bailey touched your soul or touched your lives or made you smile or whatever it was. Um, I really wanted to thank you. Uh, actually, Dallas and I both thank you for, and Neens, right Neens? Uh, for uh, all of everything. It helped more than I could have ever imagined. Well, first of all, we kind of, we announced it when, right when we had gotten home, because first of all, I didn't want to leave anyone in the dark. I know that Bailey, I mean, I think, I, I mean, I don't know how long I've had this channel, six years, seven years. I don't know what we're going on, but it's been a while. We've been around here for a good, we've been around here for a minute. We're, we're in our senior years. <laughs> Not really of YouTube, but in YouTube years, maybe. I don't use spooky family as just some random thing. Like I really do feel like at this point we've hung out, we've told the weirdest, most random, embarrassing stories. We've gone through it all, I feel like, together around here. We went through a whole freaking pandemic together. <laughs> I feel like we're I feel like there's no other way to say it. We are spooky family. I was just like, okay, well, I don't want to like just randomly weeks later be like, oh, by the way, this happened. Like, I just feel like we're closer than that. So I wanted to say something early and put it out there. And I wanted to thank you so much for all, I think I already thanked you, but I want to thank you again a million times over for the condolences and for the stories and words of love and whatever else. Because I think, I think the first day I was like wandering around the house randomly like oh my god it hurts it hurts like and like just like it kept saying it hurts because it just hurt so freaking bad my whole body hurt like i was missing a whole piece of my soul one thing that really helped with everyone even if you didn't say anything and you just had us in your thoughts like honestly the energy everything was just it helped us get through it but the one thing that i will say that really helped was just the fact that he had made other people smile and you guys loved him it just is that extra reassurance and that that he got the love he deserved with the whole spooky family loving him and caring for him and leaving comments and cheering him on and being the best hype spooky family ever when it comes to Bailey and um and then now sending all of your thoughts and love and 
condolences and all of that. Like Bailey 100% was loved and we feel so grateful that he got this love that he deserved because there's so many animals out there that just, it breaks my freaking heart that they don't always get that. Um, I'm just so grateful that Bailey had this long life and he was so loved. That's the one thing that I know for certain. I feel genuinely lucky not only to have you there as a support system, and I hope that the Spooky family and I hope I offer you the same thing. If you've recently lost a pet and this is resonating with you, if you wanna leave a comment, and I encourage the Spooky family, if there's someone in the comments that has lost a pet, if we just wanna go and just give them the most encouragement because I really want everybody who loses a, a pet or somebody close to them to have the support, to have people lift them up because it really did, it really did help uh, us in this really painful, horrible situation that I've been dreading basically my whole life. And then it became a reality. So it was extremely helpful to have that support. So I really appreciate you. And I do not take any of you for granted. So thank you so much for being here, for growing this community, for all the things and the inside jokes we have and the, the community and family we've created here. And I just feel freaking, I don't know what I'm babbling about at this point, but I just was gonna say thank you and that's pretty much it. And I don't even know if, when I go to edit this, I'm probably gonna be like, girl, what the heck are you saying? <laughs> but I hope you understand. And if you're going through anything, if you've lost something close to you or someone close to you, if you wanna talk about it in the comments and we can be there for each other. And ultimately that's what I want out of this, this whole, platform or whatever we're doing here is just to, even if we're not the same we maybe don't have the same style or maybe we come from different walks of life whatever it is like I hope it's just a place we can all come and just be total weirdos and let our guard down and just enjoy community anyway okay anyways I'm gonna go get dressed and I'll meet you guys back down here so I want to do a super quick outfit of the day before we leave my top I'm wearing a super lightweight t-shirt and you know I love my black and white stripes or if you don't know hello welcome to my channel I'm obsessed with black and white stripes so here we are we're wearing our uniform today black and white stripes at the top and black pants <laughs> it's pretty much what we wear every day of our lives now I got this from Marshall's last year I think and it is such a comfy tee it reminds me of something from like Nordstrom or Urban Outfitters or something just the feel of it and the way it's kind of slouchy and thin and I've got these holy jeans these black holy jeans on um, and I'm gonna regret this decision later because I literally just wear, I live in leggings, but I'm trying to, I'm cleaning out my closet. I'm trying to put together some sort of outfits. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you wanna see outfits of the day or maybe an out, outfits of the month or week or whatever. So I just need to get inspired to get dressed. I love clothes and I love putting together outfits, but every day I wake up, well, especially right now, and I'm just not feeling it. So I got my holy jeans on. These are from Urban Outfitters a long time ago, but I really like them. Oh, my belt is from ASOS forever ago. Um, I got it a couple years ago, I think. My necklaces are from Ita Love, which is my favorite freaking jewelry place. Guys, I'm gonna put my shoes on, we're gonna get in the car, and we're gonna go look for some plants, and we're gonna see Mom the Virgo. Oh my gosh, the sausage casing situation today. Our yard looks nice. Thanks, Dallas. All right, we're back. We're in the car. We're headed. It looks like it's going to rain. I didn't think it was supposed to rain today, but I'm not mad at it because it's supposed to be freaking hot, like 95 today already. I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready. It went from like 65, like as a high, to 90 in like a day. And I shouldn't be surprised because it happens every year around here. That wasn't supposed to rhyme, but here we are. Oh my gosh, it looks like my old car. It looks like my old car. Now I'm mourning that. Jeez. But it's supposed to be freaking 95 today. Cue miserable Marie, <coughs> AKA moaning Myrtle. And maybe I'm raining on your parade. If you love summer, I'm sure you're really excited. It's getting warmer and it feels amazing out and all that kind of stuff. But I'm dying, especially at night. I don't know if anyone else has to sleep when it's like the Arctic tundra in your home or at least in your room. I have like 
three fans going. I've got this big blaster. I've got a little one, and then I've got, or like a tower one, you know, and then I've got my ceiling fan. It's still freaking hot, and so is Dallas. And our house isn't even hot. We just are used to sleeping like in the winter. Our house is like 60 degrees. <laughs> we are true, I think we are actual vampires. I'm convinced. All right, so we're headed to this nursery. We're gonna meet my mom there. And I'm running super late, but good news is she was running even later. So here we are, we're gonna make it on time. Uh, or late, we're both just gonna be late. And the sun is trying to come out and I'm just like, please, please just stay cloudy for an hour so I can get my flowers, go home, and then we can go get Bailey. I don't know what it is. I just want him home. I don't, I don't know if anyone else who's gone through this, if that's like part of the process where you're like, at first, you know, like I don't want anything, but like, I just want him back. And now it's just like, I want him home. Anyways, now we're going to this nursery and I really hope there are no wasps out. I'm hoping the clouds help the situation because I have, okay, so I have to tell this story. <laughs> this is really funny actually. Okay, so my nose is running because I forgot to take my allergy pill. But anyways, back to our story. Uh, I was in the kitchen a couple weeks ago. It was like the first really warm day. It was like 80 something degrees that day. And I'm washing the dishes and I see this flying object, insect, not object. It's flying towards my face and it's not like a fly, you know, it's not like the, the, the movement of a fly, which is a little bit more, I don't know. It was, it was definitely was not a fly and it wasn't large enough to be a moth or didn't have large enough wings to be a moth. I mean, I was processing all of this in like 2.5 seconds, but Either way, the way it was flying looked like a wasp, for sure. So, I'm freaking out. I, it's like flying right towards my face. I'm washing the dishes. I freaking leave the water running. <laughs> I'm sorry, planet. I didn't mean it. It was only for a couple seconds. Anyways, everyone's like flying like a bat out of hell today down the road. And I've got allergies, so I just need to get a napkin really quick before we continue on our story. Oh, God. This is not helping, that hurts. I'm just gonna stick it up my nose, I think. Okay, so first of all, it feels really weird to not have Mr. Skeleton in the car with us right now. I think that's my mom right there. Oh no, that's my mom. That's definitely my mom. No, she doesn't drive that car anymore, just kidding. Okay, sorry, all the random thoughts, just all at once. Okay, so then, what was I gonna say about Bailey? No, it wasn't about Bailey. Okay, back to the flying object or insect or whatever. I start screaming bloody murder and running upstairs because I am not messing around when it comes to wasps. If you're new here, I have a Maury Povich slash Sally Jesse Raphael, like the talk shows they used to have like, I'm afraid of pickles or I'm afraid of spiders or snakes or whatever. And then they would have to face their fear on the talk show. I have that level of fear of wasps. What was I saying? Anyways, running upstairs screaming. Dallas, every time I do this, because there's been only, no, there's only been one other time, I think, where a wasp came in. Anyway, I, I'm screaming bloody murder, running up the stairs, and Dallas jumps out of bed, because we were just about, like, I was just cleaning up, we were going to bed, jumps out of bed, and it's like, what, what, is everything okay? And I'm like, no, it's not okay, there's a wasp. Dallas is like, Jason, you're, you're seriously, when you do this, you really scare me. I think somebody's like in the house. I'm like, I can't control this fear. Like he is so unafraid of wasps that I can't even comprehend it. Like I don't understand. How, I know this is like a 10 minute long rant about wasps, but I don't understand how you just don't have a fear of them because they have no mercy. They will literally show up and just sting you for the fun of it. Like it's not like bees where they're like, you know, they're honed in on their flowers and pollen and got a goal and a purpose. No, wasps are just there to sting the crap out of us. And there are not many things I'm certain about in life, but that is one of them. <laughs> I'm certain that wasps are here to terrorize us. So anyways, I'm freaking out. Dallas goes downstairs. He's like, I don't see a wasp. And I'm like, no, you wouldn't because they I don't think it's just me, but I think there are certain people in the universe who just have this omen, this bad omen where um, wasps just find you. I'm convinced of that. Okay. So Dallas is down there looking for the wasp and I'm upstairs planning my funeral, and, which I think I did last time I saw a wasp. So anyways, finally I go downstairs because he's like, I don't see it. And I'm like, he's like, you had to show me where it was. And I'm like, I absolutely cannot do that. It's going to find me. 
it's they just okay so I go downstairs and sure enough I see it instantly flying around I'm like there it is there it is except I was screaming you know like I can't control it it just anyways okay so Dallas gets the vacuum cleaner out and I'm sorry about the wasp. I would let it out into the wild again, but I can't do that because then it's going to sting somebody else or potentially come back for me. So we can't let that happen, people. So he gets out the vacuum cleaner. I run back upstairs because I'm terrified. And he then tells me, oh, I got it. Like he vacuumed it up and like he like sucked it up in the vacuum and the Dyson handheld, by the way, which there are so many <laughs> different uses for this freaking Dyson, which is just another reason why I'm so obsessed with it. And then I say that it's like my second husband because it truly is. It, it, it guides my husband into taking care of wasps for me. Okay. Anyways, longer story longer. Dallas tells me it's not a wasp. <laughs> it's essentially what freaking happened. Some sort of moth thing. I don't know what it was. Anyways, it wasn't a wasp. So that's my story. <laughs> that's all right. We live to tell the tale, and that's the most important. <laughs> Jeez, my hair is extra fluffy today, like up here. It's like giving me George Washington vibes. Longest story longer, I just hope there are no wasps today. I'm hoping the clouds stick around for like at least another hour. Hurry, hurry. Okay, you're not going, so I'm going. Oh, they redid all of that. What is that, save a lot? What's save a lot? Do they have Halloween decorations? Not right now, but you know, like in the future. Always scoping out new places. Fingers crossed it's not crazy busy. It is always crazy busy here. Like, it looks like there's a couple parking spots. There is hope. Well, I don't know where she would be parked. What is this guy doing? What is he doing? Let's call my mom. Hello? Are you in the bathroom at Family Nursery? No, I'm at, in the back. Yeah, I'm in the okay. back now. I just okay. went. I, All right, we're going in. Mom and Virgo in the wild. Let's go get her. Hi. Hi, I saw you when I was stalking you. <laughs> uh, that's okay. You can... Happy, oh, happy late Mother's Day. Thank you. Oh, those are pretty. Which uh, one? I have one more red gray. or purple. I don't know. The purple's so pretty, Mom. Okay. Might be a black plant. Sweet Caroline Raven. Mm. Look at this. Dark Star. Mm. That's an option. Kind of like the purple. I don't know what I want to do. I hate decisions. I'm back in the car. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking humid today. <sighs> um, okay, couple things. First and foremost, saw some flowers in there. Oh, that AC feels so good. <laughs> um, if we saw my mom for like 2.5 seconds, like I went in and spotted her and she already picked out freaking half of her flowers basically. And then of course your ghoul was so indecisive that it took me 300 years to pick out like five flowers. Then we left. So we saw mom the Virgo for like 2.5 seconds, but that's all right. We'll see her again soon, I'm sure. We can go, okay, this summer, remind me to go stop by my mom's because we'll be out Halloween decor hunting out there and we'll go look at her flowers. Anyways, we're gonna go pick up Dallas and Neens and then we're gonna go get Bailey. All right, so we're going to get Bailey and get her coffee too. Yeah, can I get a grande iced triple soy latte and a grande nitro cold brew? And that is all. Means you're not waiting patiently, girl. 
Here you go. Good, how's it going? Good. <laughs> Sitting outside and, and drinking coffee does not sound Ugh. appeasing right now. Sorry, it's 85. Sis, I'm sorry. You already got a pup cup, though. You just got one, sis. Maybe we'll go tomorrow. She's upset. I'll go tomorrow and get you one. She thinks... <laughs> Means! Sorry, sis. But we should have ordered her one. We should have ordered her one. Look, she thinks mine is well, a pup Well, she cup. usually thinks she's going to get one if they acknowledge sis. her. Sis. And when they acknowledge her, she automatically... She's looking at him. Look. She's crying. Sis, this isn't yours. Isn't it funny, how she, isn't it funny how she knows? It, yeah, just goes, it just goes to show that she expects it. Or not this one, but the next one. Sis, this isn't yours. This is mom's. I'm sorry, girl. Yeah. We're gonna go get Bailey. All right, we just left the vet. We have Bailey in our little bag. I'm. Oh, I know needs. Um, I'm afraid to open it. I was. Well, I was afraid to open it in there because I was afraid I was gonna cry. And I'm. Not that that's a bad thing, but. I'm just, there was somebody sitting in the waiting room and I wasn't trying to upset, you know, I don't know why that person was there. If their dog was sick or anything, you know, I don't want to get too, I don't want to open a full on urn in the middle of a vet if somebody's dog is sick, you know what I mean? So, um, but <sighs> I'm just so glad that that's our vet and we had the experience that we did there because we couldn't ask for a better vet. Yeah, they... Is wrote that, a whole little note. This is a note from them. From who? Dr. C in the staff. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's so sweet. I know Dr. C was in there. Where's Dr. C? Your favorite. Yeah, Dr. C. Bag inside of there? Or is yeah, it just it's like like a, yeah, it's like a nice little velvet bag. I was just trying to like, it's hard. It's so awkward. Act like it's okay when it's not, you know? <laughs> Like just to be like, oh yeah, you know, every day gets a little easier, and it's like that's just not true. <laughs> or I just didn't know what to say to them there because I don't want anyone else to be sad, you know. We're back. We just got home. We have Bailey here. Neans is barking upstairs. She's ready for him to come upstairs. I already unwrapped everything. I don't know. If, I mean, I know I'm morbid, but a whole unboxing just didn't seem right. Um, my nose is running because we had a moment when we got home and unwrapped it. It becomes, I mean, it was already real, but it becomes, you know, more real. But, you know, it just feels different around here. Like, I'm happy to have him home and I'm glad that he's, you know, here now. But I want to honor him with this video, planting flowers for him and all that stuff. So just hard. I'm just lucky that I got to be his mom. I wanted to show you though, cause it's really nice. And I need a drink of my coffee. <laughs> Lord. How you doing? How's your day? Hopefully not too depressing. So here is, I'm gonna show you. And hopefully if this makes you too sad, you can totally skip over to the part where I plant flowers. That's totally fine too. But I thought this was really nice. I'm not gonna show you any ashes or anything like that. Um, we got a nice little paw print and we have our, his nice little box and a note. So that's what I'm gonna show you, just to give you a heads up. There's nothing um, too, I mean, you know I'm weird always, but there's nothing too uh, like morbid or anything. Anyways, okay, I wanna show you. Okay, here's Bailey's sweet little paw print. Look, he had so much fur in between his paws always is so cute and you can see it in there and then his little nails and everything his sweet little paw print is so cute oh i love that um and then here's his box it's gonna be perfect for a tabletop i'll show you where we're gonna put it and i do think that his little bandana will wrap around it perfectly i mean this is a really sweet note from my vet Anyways, it's just so sweet and special, and um, I'm going to keep this. I don't know where I'm keeping his little paw print. I don't want it to break or anything. Actually, if you guys have uh, paw prints from your animals, what did what'd you do with them? Did you put them? Did you frame it? Did you put it in a little, like, box, like a little shadow box thing? What did you do with your paw print? Let me know down in the comments because I would love um, some ideas on kind of what to do with it. I don't want it to break. I want to keep it safe. So let me know down in the comments what you did with your paw print if you have one, like a little ceramic paw print or whatever mold that you got of your dog's paw print or cat or whatever pet you have. Uh, I'm feeling 
it's kind of what happens. It comes in waves. If you know, you know, I feel like, and it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Like it usually does. So, oh, okay. All right. Let's go up and put Bailey in his new spot. All right. Here's Bailey's new spot. I've been meaning to spray paint this table black. I've got so many things to spray paint black in my life. It's not even funny, but <laughs> that's pretty much my whole life. Uh, but I have my little futon here in her bedroom and then and his beds are right here by the way they, they're staying here for now we're not ready to do anything with these beds yet so you know we're giving it time but we have a window right here and then bailey is right here and i put his little uh it's a little look at this if you haven't seen this yet so cute this is from freddie and john so thank you again freddie and john this seriously means so much even more now that we have this for Bailey's little area and it wraps perfectly around his little box. So he's got a little outfit on which Bailey always loved dressing up. He always would show off when he'd wear his little outfit. So perfect, just a little Bailey hanging out there. That way we can open the window, let the breeze in. Um, but now we have Bailey home so we can talk to him and and all that kind of stuff. So I think he loves it. What do you guys think? All right, hey everyone, it's another day and we're leaving really quickly. If you can hear Neen's coughing, we're going to the vet. Please tell me the keys in here. I just wanted to hop on here really quickly and let you know there's been a change of events. <laughs> this is the most depressing freaking vlog ever. It's okay, means. All right, I'm leaving. I'll keep you posted. Poor baby's taking a nap. She's been sleeping for a while because I think she didn't get any sleep last night. Poor girl. Hey, everyone. It's still Friday the 13th. I'm back home. Sorry about that scare earlier. We're back. I'm in my basement because I'm going to start working out here in a second, but I didn't want to wake up Neens because Neens is sleeping and she, she didn't sleep all night last night. We were up all night. Um, she was coughing really bad and you heard yesterday or was it a couple days ago or whatever it was, she started coughing a little bit, but sometimes that's just allergies. It doesn't always turn into a full blown thing. Um, but I did this time and uh, I was freaking out because it sounded like on the way to the vet, it sounded like she was getting really tight in her. And I know it's already tight, but like tighter than usual in her trachea, like she couldn't breathe. Um, and it just sounded, it always sounds so bad. It freaks me out every time. And uh, I thought it was maybe pneumonia or bronchitis or something other than the trachea issue. And it was the exact same thing. It was just trachea was like uh, what she kind of had around October last year. And um, it's just the timing is, I think I'm slightly, I mean, it was scary sounding, but I think I was slightly overreacting probably due to the timing of all this. I'm just already pretty sensitive and I don't know if I'm even ready for <laughs> all of this. Like maybe I started filming too soon, um, but I, I need to keep going and I wanna keep going. Um, so anyways, we were supposed to plant this morning. We we're gonna plant our flowers for Bailey and the whole thing just went, just went spiraling. So we're home, she's napping and Dallas is laying with her while she's napping. I've been in bed all day editing um, because I'm just wanting her to stay calm because the more worked up she gets, the more she coughs. So I'm just trying to stay by her side. Dallas is with her right now. So I'm gonna work out is what I'm gonna try to do. It always makes me feel better to work out, even though I'm like, I don't really feel like it. And I'm wearing just some random shirt I found in my closet when I was cleaning it out. Oh, I'm also wearing my Friday the 13th socks to work out in today. It's it's a whole other level of fashion today. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna start working out. I might film it a little bit, but it's by the way, I've been loving our tonal. It's been amazing. I do feel stronger. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> You can't tell. Anyways, we're gonna attempt a workout. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Feel the hot. Push up. What? I'm gonna do a couple. No, absolutely not. Not including day two for today. Well, they're hearts. Weigh as much as a car. And our first move is the one. And then we have one set. Mark. Cross six with a little bit of water. Oh my god. Toes turn to the side. Don't say we cruise. Come on. Weight goes on. Let's go to work. Right below that chest, activating your entire body. So freaking hot. I feel a little bit better. I'll feel even better when I freaking take a shower, but um, I at least feel less stressed out, which is the one thing that exercise has really helped with over everything is 
I feel less stressed out about all the things. So, uh, I'm dying. I think I'm gonna make myself a snack, just a little veggie plate with maybe some dill pickle spicy almonds maybe that's like my after workout snack every time so this is turning out to be like a full-on pre-summer vlog and not just us planting flowers because things went way off course and now we're down a whole other portal of life happening so thanks for hanging out with me so here's my little after workout snack it's basically already 4 30 right now so we're gonna be eating in a couple hours and making um those impossible burgers tonight impossible burgers with these gluten-free buns i found at walmart apparently these are new or it says where did it say new oh there it is new found these at walmart we're gonna try it tonight but i'm starving after a workout so i'm gonna eat some snack and i'm gonna share some with Neens. and this is kind of what i do i have some hummus with some sriracha carrots extra carrots because Neens likes to share cucumbers, and these almonds, these guys, these blue diamond spicy dill pickle almonds. And this is kind of my little snack, just a little something. All right, I'm gonna go up and bring these up to bed to share with Neens. I know I'm spoiling her, but here we go. All right, sis. There's your bite. Here's your other little bite, baby bird. Chew it. Thank you. Hey everyone, it is a new day. I'm sitting here with little Neens. She's feeling so much better. Kind of just, honestly, the last couple of days, we've kind of just been, I've been editing a lot of this footage, which is really freaking sad, and I'm sorry about it being so sad. And I was not planning on that. This vlog was supposed to be this really happy vlog where we plant flowers and stuff and it's seriously so far been the most depressing it just it i think it's just been a lot so she's feeling better and now it's six o'clock at night we're gonna go out and well it's not night yet but you know it's six o'clock in the evening i guess you could say and we're gonna go out and we're gonna plant these flowers now because it's overcast and i don't see any wasps <laughs> but i think we're just gonna plant the front ones right now the front two pots i mean the back ones we're gonna wait because it's supposed to storm really bad tonight we're supposed to get hail and all that kind of stuff but this area out my front door is covered so we have like a little porch covering so those should be fine and oh i know needs so we're gonna do that we're gonna plant these flowers for bailey is what we're gonna do so i got a couple of different flowers we're gonna do some dark flowers out front i got some purple flowers and some of these like leafy black plant things, like leaf things, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna go get these plants and I'll meet you guys outside. I'm also gonna get the soil and some bags because we've got the old plants still in the pots. All right, so here's the flowers we got. I got these, what are you barking at? All right, so I got these purple flowers that I was thinking for out front. And what are these called? They are vincas. And I thought purple might be really pretty outside. So we may just do these, but I thought about maybe adding these guys. Look at this. These are called Sweet Caroline Ravens. I thought about maybe putting like one of these and one of these in the pots outside. We're gonna plant one, see how it goes. All right, here we go. Okay, first we gotta take all this out of this pot. This is last year's plant. I actually really liked these. I can't even remember what they were called, but they were awesome. And they overcrowded everything else that I did in here. Um, I like did, I think I did begonias and this like crawling plant and it just overtook everything. But the climbing purple plant was so cool. It almost looked like a purple aloe plant, but it wasn't. Get it open. These gloves have seen better days. Oh God, please don't be a wasp in here. If you watched last year's, where I was doing this, it had this really gnarly looking root to it. That was like this worm looking thing. God, this is rock solid. So what I like to do is take some of this out. Uh-oh, my bad. Take some of this out and then put some of the new stuff in with this. Just kind of refresh the soil. That way we can save some of the old soil and still we won't have to use as much. Filming this is proving to be difficult, but it's all right, we'll get through it. 
here's part of the worm root. I'm gonna try to dump some soil in this thing. But here we go. All right, we're just gonna mix it in with some of that older soil in there. Just freshen it up, uh-oh. We're making a huge mess. Now, what are we doing? Planting the flowers. I have you sitting in a plant. I hope you're okay in there. Okay, I think we're gonna start with this guy. I'm gonna take him out of the pot. That's what I do, at least. And then, oh no, he's got a worm thing too. Not quite as bad as last year. Last year's was really creepy. It looked like a trimmer. Oh no, did I almost break this guy? Are you okay? I just wanted to loosen the root a little bit so it just doesn't strangle itself. In here, look how pretty this one is. So pretty, okay. Take this out. I don't know what the roots of this look like. But, oh, this is way less abrasive. No worm in there. Do you hear any barking in there? All right, so we got this guy in. He's in, and we're about to put this one in. We got it all roughed up and ready to go. We've got less abrasive roots on this one. Doesn't look as wormy. And we're gonna put him here. That just doesn't really look right, does it? spreads out 8 to 12 inches. That's going to really cover all of this. All right, killer. All right, change of plans. We're taking out this dark plant. We're just doing all purple flowers in these planters because I can't handle, can't handle what's happening. It's going to be purple and green. I'm totally fine with that. But Beetlejuice colors. And we're going to move the black plant into this planter I just brought out from out back. And we're ever so gently going to lift this guy out. I'm so sorry, dude. And we're going to put him in this pot. Side. All right, we have this one replanted. We're going to put this in the back. All right, so here are the green and purple Beetlejuice flowers. Maybe we can do a Beetlejuice theme for Halloween this year out front. We'll see once they fill in how they get, what they look like. Y'all hear ya, everybody hears ya, girl. Uh oh. Neens is really, her patience is wearing thin. Here are flowers all watered in. I think we might call them our beetle bailey flowers. <laughs> but I'm glad we got a beetle bailey flowers done. They kind of go with the door a little bit. Let's see what the door shut, what it looks like. All right, here's what they're going to look like with the wreath and everything. They're nice and pretty. I can't wait till they get all big though. Hey everyone, we're back and uh, I realized I didn't do a proper send off when I was looking all cute and having my makeup done and everything. Didn't do a proper send off then. Nope, just couldn't do it <laughs> apparently. So I just wanted to give you a proper send off in this vlog since I basically was just gonna leave you high and dry. Um, this vlog has been really, really hard to edit. So it has taken me a little bit longer to get out there, longer than I was wanting to, basically a whole week longer than I was wanting to get it out. Uh, but this vlog I feel like definitely helped me heal and go through the process and see everything from a different perspective. Like I said earlier, it's been a very humbling experience. Just grateful to have you here. And I, I don't even care if it sounds cheesy or if it's annoying or whatever, I'll thank you a million times again because this space and this platform and having the spooky family there has just been, I don't know what this experience would have been like without you. And I know I already said that too, but I just appreciate this outlet and support. I'm just so thankful for every one of you. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for um, still being here. Even though I took several weeks off, I, I just, I'm, I don't know. I just, I'm just so grateful that even though this has been such a horrible time and one of the worst times in my life, um, I'm grateful to have a positive place to come to. So I couldn't have that without you guys. So thank you so much. We're gonna continue on with, with regular scheduled content. I have some things that I filmed before this all happened and then things that I filmed in the process. So, um, and then of course we have Halloween in June coming up. So I, so I do now feel okay to film and post videos and you know, keep going. I'm just so thankful to have you guys, to have Dallas, to have Neens, to have my mom who was here when we made the trip to the vet with Bailey. She was here with Neens, so Neens didn't have to be alone. I'm so thankful for my mom. I 
like support is everything. So I'm just, I'm so thankful for you guys and I hope you feel supported here and I hope you feel like you belong here and all of that. Cause like I'm just seeing how things, like how much it really does make a difference and all that. So now I'm just babbling again. So ending this video is kind of making me a little sad because I'm, I feel like I'm saying goodbye all over again. So this video is honoring Bailey and his life. Um, but he's always going to be with us videos and all the memories we have and everything. So, um, so I'm trying to tell myself it's not really goodbye, but it's glad that we could do this video and plant some flowers for Bailey and put together his little table together. And, and I'm just so grateful that in this life I was chosen to be his mom. Although it doesn't feel like it's ever enough time. I'm just so grateful that he lived a long, happy life. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for always being there for Bailey and always, you know, in the comments, letting us know when he made you laugh and um, how much you enjoyed seeing the dog. So, and clearly I'm struggling with saying goodbye. So I'm just going to do a proper send off. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Also, anything you want to chat about in the comments, um, if you want to share some memories of your uh, family members or pets who have passed or maybe just something funny your furry or non-furry family members have done down in the comments so we can all have a little bit of a laugh. Whether they're here with us physically still or they're here with us in spirit, whatever you want to do down in the comments, we can... Um, share some funny stories and uh, Bailey if you're out there bud I love you so much and um, your dad loves you so much the spooky family loves you your sister loves you and I hope you like the flowers <laughs> and I hope you are running free and pain free and just can run wild huh <sighs> we're here again somebody's cutting onions in here anyways thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time